Hi everyone, this is Paulo from the MD Academy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make basses like the ones in the track Distance by Apache but it's Bunshin's remix. So this is the original track. And this is the bass that we're going to be making. Now I know it's not exactly the same but I'm also going to be showing you how to make this one. And this one. And this one. And this one. And this one. So as you can see, there's a lot of really cool variations. And by the end of this video, you will know a lot of cool sounds and techniques to make sounds like this. But before you get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so as you can see, this sound is made in operator and it has a lot of post-processing. As you can see right here, this is the sound without uh, post-processing and with post-processing. So it changes quite a lot. So now let's just talk about this operator patch. Let's see what's interesting about it and what does it have in common with all of these different operators. So we're just going to duplicate this real quick and get ourselves a default operator. So here have an operator that is on the default preset. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be FMing this uh, oscillator right here by a sine wave. And we're going to be changing this oscillator to a square wave. In this case, I'm going to be using square three which is uh, basically the first three uh, harmonics of the series, like we usually do in Serum. If you're a fan of the channel, you should know that. And then we are femming this with a very heavy or a very um, high, sorry, harmonic here. But what's special about this is that we're going to be using a filter. And this filter, we're going to bring it down very, very intensely. And we're going to change it into the PRD mode, which is are gonna allow us to saturate the filter and distort it quite heavily. So now check this out. The moment we bring this sound to that high register, it's gonna saturate the high harmonic plus the low harmonics here. And here's what's interesting about it is that we can use envelopes for this filter. So for example, let's just FM this. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to saturate this set it on hard and saturated. So now we have a very, very saturated sine wave. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be applying pitch envelope to the sound. So let's bring this frequency all the way down and then let's add the envelope here. And you can hear the filter slowly going up. Oops, there you go, 100. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making this filter be very, very fast. And as you can see, it just gives us a very, very cool high frequency content in the sound. And now let's turn on the post processing. And so we get sounds like that, which is very, very cool. And we can also do things like adding a pitch envelope that, for example, we can make it go from um, 12 to the default pitch over a second, for example. And you can have that uh, pitch envelope that sounds really, really cool. And so now let's just talk about the pulse processing here real quick. So this pulse processing, what it is, I'm just going to walk you through it uh, one by one. We begin with this preset called Enhance. And what this is, is basically a multiband dynamics that uh, doesn't have any upwards compression or expansion. It's only downwards compression, which is actually very heavy, but we're boosting every single band quite a bit and then just squashing it uh, on the upside. Then we're just adjusting to have more highs, less mids and more sub, and we're boosting the output a lot. So if we stack three of these, we get a very cool artifact on the high end. And if you want to copy this preset, you can um, just copy these values. This is the times, this is the below, this is the above, 
and here are all the different uh, settings of the compressor. So after we stack three of those, we have a really slight reverb and then a saturator. Then we use enhance once again. We use an EQ boosting the low mid. And then we have an OTT. And then we have another EQ. And that's it, that's the pulse processing. Now we can just come here, come back, try different pitch envelopes, try different resonances and different filters. And as you can see, we just get lots and lots of different variations. That are very, very, very cool. And it's now all about just resampling this and playing with, whoa, that was a crazy sound. And playing with the coarse pitch. And if you want, you can even just deactivate this envelope and automate it yourself. For example, like just changing the frequency here and just doing a very fast um, envelope here. And boom, now you're getting sounds like that. And you can adjust the pitch envelope too. And now you're getting a lot of cool, interesting sounds. And all of these sounds are these variations that I'm talking about. So for example, here you can see I uh, automated the filter in this way. Uh, here I have DNC, just because it's a different algorithm, that it's uh, 23 and minus 14. So for example, if we go to the one that we're making, we can do 23 here, and then just have a different shape here in the, in the filter. And boom, we have a different sound, which is actually very, very cool. And again, we can just keep playing and playing and playing with this sound and it's just gonna give us many many cool uh, variations like this one this one is the same filter it's actually exists at 69 percent resonance and we have this type of envelope going up for the pitch band it's actually going down yeah and it's a 29 so yeah as you can see it's just a very 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 interesting um preset <laughs> And that's how you make bases like the ones in the track Distance by Apache, but Bunshin's remix. So if you liked the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.